gotta figure out what circuit that light is on. And this bedroom here says uh, 28. Which is number 28. So before we do that, we're gonna test it and see if it's hot. It's hot. So now, let's turn 28 off. Killed half the house. So now we can take this off, take the wire loose, and I can pull on it in the attic, and I know that I've got the right one, I can pull it out. Then I'll, then I'll take the light down, pull the new wire through the light box, through the, through the uh, box, wire up the new switch, the new switch should work. This bedroom has double doors, one going into the kitchen, one going in the hallway. This one, this wall doesn't have a switch. This wall does. This door, we're taking this door out. Fridge is going here, cabinets going here, and a pantry is going there. So this door has got to come out. And we just don't want to walk all the way across the bedroom and turn the light switch off. So this is the first step in our remodel. Moving the light switch and closing up this door. So these are the old style boxes. This is this is a nail. It's got a nail at the top, nail at the bottom. This is the the outlet box cutter that I cut with my multi tool. My multi tool. Run it in there beside this box. Cut and uh, cut those nails. That's one good thing about a multi tool. I cut those nails, pull this box out. That way I can patch this hole. So now I'm gonna go up and add it and see if I can pull that wire through. Up here, this is uh, <clears throat> we're adding in, we're moving a light switch. So putting in a light switch on this wall right here is where we went in at. The wall you can see it, uh, it's right here underneath me. So I knew, <clears throat> had a good idea about where it was at over there. So I knew where the wall was over there, <clears throat> somewhere over here. Is the old light switch and it goes to a light out here in the center uh, another way I found this is there's a there's an outlet there's a, another light switch on this on the other opposite side of the wall <clears throat> so I seen I seen this wire going in to I knew this was the top seal <clears throat> and I'd already marked my stud from underneath I had to drill down a good ways <clears throat> once I was able to get through I dropped a little line with the weight on it and my wife grabbed that she pulled it through the hole I tied it off to this uh, and then I pulled it through and so then I left the roll up here I'm going to disconnect the switch on that wall and then once we disconnect it I can uh, I'll, I'll know what wire it, it is I can trace it back to the light disconnect it at the light and reconnect this wire at the light and this switch will, will turn the light on and off.
So I'm, so I'm just wiring this up the way it, the way it was undone. The, the this is the switch wire. The white one goes to the blacks, uh, and these white ones are, are all wired up together. And then so these two, your white and black for your light. And that's how that's how it was to start with. So, and these wires, all these wires were soldered together, but we cut them off. We're just gonna put a wire nut on. <clears throat> just verify that your wires are good and tight. But you can't. I'm gonna put a little electrical tape around them. So on this light, all the white wires wire together and all the black wires wire together. Just check all your wires to make sure they're not loose. Now let's turn our breaker back on. See if the light works. So now I just got to uh, attach it back to the ceiling, put the globe back on it. So this project is done. Uh, cut this outlet box and we'll get some sheetrock. And whenever we fill this, when we do the sheetrock on this door, then we'll patch this door.